there's always that <laughs> one guy who makes it far mm -hmm. that the audience doesn't see the connection as much because we're not privy to you know the entire time of filming. But you and Tasha mm -hmm. obviously had a connection. She was really distraught over sending you home. Kind of tell us what we didn't see about you and Tasha because I think the audience is a little confused. Yeah, no, definitely. And, you know, I see it play out too. And I'm like, wow, they're not really showing much of why I'm making it as far as I have and why I deserve that one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, I had to come out night one and tell Tasha that oh, I had a connection with another lead, like big time, about yeah. 24 hours before or whatever, right? So, and I thought about Claire for four months and coming out with a red flag over my head being like, listen, you gotta be patient with me. No one wants to hear that. Yeah. Not when there's 20 other guys that she can choose from. And so um, I told her to be patient and she was, and she started to give me more time. And every time we spoke, I started to open up more and she started to realize the sides of me. Now you guys probably saw a lot more sides than you would have liked with me. Yeah, and I was, Blake. you know, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I was, I was loose and relaxed with Tasha. I wasn't like that with Claire, but um, she started to see the sweet side, the emotional side, the fun side, the loose side. And, you know, Obviously, as you heard in that last episode, there's lots of different sides to me that she saw, mm -hmm. and it just really came too late. And I, that's what it, I think it came down to. I wish we would have seen it because I kept saying, "Why is Blake still here?" I mean, honestly, we didn't get to see it, but then you see her break down, and it's like, "Oh wow, there really was something here." When you saw her at the men tell all, did it? How was that for you, seeing her for the first time in months? Yeah. I, yeah. It was tough because the last time I saw her, she, you know, she broke down. I wasn't expecting her to get as emotional as she did. Um, it, it, it was tough because I literally had thought about her since I'd left because we left on this, we ran out of time. It wasn't like, you're not the one for me. It was, we ran out of time, we connected too late. So I'm at my house, like, you know, I brought some of those stones back from that date and I had like this bucket list that I made with her. And there's some things that we did and I have it on my dresser. I walk by and be like, it would always bring up like the what ifs, the yeah. potential, like what if we, and so to see her walk in, it was like, I need wanted to get some more clarification and some more closure on what that won't happen. Um, and she kind of gave me that. There's still a piece of me that will hang on to like the what ifs in a way. Yeah. Um, but it was tough for sure. I'm sure. I mean, you know, as we saw in the bloopers, you know, the date was really going up and then, you know, there <laughs> okay. was, um, <laughs> It went down, you know, you know, you guys, yeah, like, you yeah, know yeah. So men, yeah, that's cheeky, yeah. Men tell <laughs> all. Normally, we get a full episode. This year, we were cheated. Yeah. We only got an hour. Tell us what we missed. I mean, it's really seemed to be um, an intense men tell all, especially when Yosef took the stage and the drama between Bennett and Noah. Uh, what was your take about men tell all and being there? Um, I would say that the, the Bennett and Noah thing really just, it took over the last part of the season with Tasha. It took away from a lot of the other guys, right? And it took like, it took the stage, which is everyone hated because there was other guys there, including myself, that that's what took away from the time that I needed to make a connection with Tasha. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the thing is, it's like, they're completely two different guys and they couldn't picture Tasha with the other guy because that would mean like there's no way that they would like she would like me if she likes him right. and I kind of had that same kind of feeling with with Noah where it's like I relate to Noah so if she really really likes Bennett she's probably not gonna like me and so I didn't like that she had a thing going with Bennett because that probably meant uh there's no way that we, we work then because we're completely different and so that took up a lot of the time and um, it was unfortunate but it played into the season and uh is what it is who were you the closest with in the house? Uh, I would say Jason. Uh, oh, okay. Jason and I probably connected the best. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I got along with honestly everybody. Yeah. You seem like that type of guy. And it sounds like you're Team mm -hmm. Noah over Team Bennett. You didn't say it, but you kind of insinuated that just now. Yeah. Well, we all know what team we all know what team you're on, right? So you don't even have to talk about that. Did you see my eulogy? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did see it. <laughs> um, of the four men left, so we're down to the final four yeah. right now. We have hometowns tonight. Who do you think is the best fit for Tasha? If Tasha's looking for a real man, like she says she is, I think you got have to go Zach. Do I think that each any one of them is like that perfect fit for her? I don't think any one of those guys is that bang on perfect fit. I think they each have their things they could bring to the table for her. Do I think any one of them is that perfect match? No, but I Why think do you that say if that? you're looking for that, 
That's interesting. I mean, I know no one's perfect, because, but why do you say why do you say that? Well, I mean, there's just things about each one of those guys. I'm like, ah, would that work in her life? Like, mm. just like th there's just there's not that one where I'm like, it's a home run for that guy. And that's why a lot of people are going into this final four thinking, who the hell is it going to be? Because we really don't know. They all bring something different, and they're all unique. Um, not anyone seems to round out everything that she's looking for, it feels like to me. Well, I'll, That's what it feels I'll like. agree with you because I see, like, Zach C seems to check all the boxes, but I don't see the chemistry that I see with her and Zach that I do with Brendan. And then even with Ben, and then Ivan challenges her in a way that the other guys can't. But it seems like a little bit of a French, more of a friendship than it does a romance. Is that kind of what you're saying? Like, I don't really see the all around. <laughs> Thing. Yes, like they just they just seem to connect in different ways. I'm like, okay, well, which one is she gravitating to the most? Like she's literally showing the same amount of interest, but in different ways to these guys. And all these guys are very uniquely different. And it's like, there's not one that takes all of those personalities, those little things that she loves about all those guys and putting them into one. There isn't that one guy that does that. So how, who is it going to be? I have no idea. Would you would you have been the perfect fit for? Of course. <laughs> we, just, we just ran out of time. <laughs> Now speaking, but what you haven't run out of time for, and a lot of people want to know this, is obviously the Bachelor franchise has made it work. We've seen The Bachelorette, The Bachelor just finished, and now everyone's starting to talk about Paradise, which it's seeming can be a, a real thing here. Would you go on Paradise? You know, it, it's a long way away, so I'm going to be living my normal life until then. Mm -hmm. um, if I find somebody that encompasses all of those things that we just talked about yeah. all in one. I mean, realistically, I'm looking for somebody, right? So if that happens before paradise comes, great. If it doesn't, then yeah, you could probably find me on a beach. Yeah, I think you do well in paradise, Blake. I do. And yeah, yeah you think so? Yeah, I really do <laughs> think you would do well. What about The Bachelor? If they come to you, because I did, we did talk to Rob Mills and he said in this group of men between Claire and Tasha that there is a bachelor. Would you be open to being The Bachelor if they asked you? be a hell of a time you see what these leads go through you would know um <laughs> yeah uh i would definitely be into into seeing what that was all about you can't go wrong with choosing between 31 great women um and that'd be an honor for sure and something that i would have a hard time with but uh <laughs> something i would take on it's a, just another life experience you don't say no to the bachelor if they ask you to be bachelor or bachelorette you just don't say no it's just I just don't think you, you can't, right? As much as it's intimidating and it's like, oh, wow, I think it's something you, you have to take on. Yeah. Now, I have to ask you about Yosef. Is he really as bad as he comes across? Because I, one, I was shocked that they allowed him to come to the men tell all, and Claire wasn't there, to be honest. But just the way that he was at men tell all is just, is this really the, the man that he is? Yeah, I mean, listen, you know, the first night that he walked in and, you know, every, every time he would speak, there was come of us, some of us that would look around the room and be like, ah, there was just an off thing about his presence and the way that he went about things. Yeah. He would try to like stir the pot with certain comments and stuff in the house, just even not just aside. It was almost like he wanted attention in some way. Just he wanted to grind gears. He was there to grind gears and it came down to the whole Claire thing. And it was like, he just went overboard. I think, I think he is what he is. I think what you see is what you see. Um, and you can see he didn't back down from anything, right? Yeah. And they're calling <sighs> him. Unfortunately, what you see. Dang it. They're calling him Nosif on social media. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> That's a... I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. That's <laughs> trending. Eh? OK. Um, <laughs> yeah, not a good look. Not a good look. Last question I'll ask you. We're always curious. How did you get on this show? And were you a fan of the show before you came on? I knew what it was because my mom had watched it in the past, but um, it was super random. I was playing hockey and I'm one of the only single remaining guys out of like my group of friends, every, all my friends from high school, I have this big group of friends still. And I'm the one, only one remaining that's not, you know, engaged with a girlfriend, living with somebody. And um, they're always asking me about my dating life. Like, Why don't you go on one of these shows? Like we're sitting around the truck outside of after a hockey game, we're sitting by the truck. Mm -hmm. And they're like, why don't you go on one of these shows? Like you're weird, you're different. You don't care what anyone thinks. Like you're perfect for this type of thing. And um, I was like, there's no way, there's no way I'm going to do that. They're like, do it. I went home that night, I sent an application. I don't even finish. I didn't finish the application process. I sent in a photo and I was like, 
all of a sudden it just spiraled out of control and now here I am talking to you. <laughs> That's crazy. Listen, one I'll say, Tasha said you were the best kisser. I really am doing that as a shout out to the ladies who will be in paradise. I just want to remind them of that. <laughs> were you shocked you went home? No, I was not shocked at all that I went home. Really? Why do you say that? No, now after the fact watching it, no. In the moment when our date was going really well and just the way that it was like, and there's, there's other, obviously other conversations that things that happen on those dates mm -hmm. and like, you feel really good about it. And going into the date, I was 50, 50. I was very optimistic though, because you're like, there's no way I can go. Even though I knew it was like, uh, there's no way I'm going into this date thinking I'm going home today. Yeah. I went in thinking I can, t this is the date that I needed. This is where I'm going to turn it around. This is where we're going to make a connection, whether it's late or not, maybe I can make something of this. And by the end of that day, I felt really good about it. And like, and then all of a sudden it just like started going south of the couch and I'm like, what's going on? Oh my God. And then it was like, I was in the limo. So <laughs> in the moment I was shocked, Yeah. not shocked now. Yeah. Yeah. It's always different when you watch it back. Well, Blake, thank you so much for taking the time to give us the inside scoop, the behind the scenes. We enjoyed seeing you on our television screens and we hope to see you again, all whether it's Bachelor. <laughs> yeah, all of you, like you revealed a lot. All of you me. didn't hold uh, back. I know. So whether it's Bachelor, no, Bachelor in Paradise, we can't wait to see you again. Awesome, thank you, thank you for having thank me. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.